Hello everybody. Sorry it's been a while. I've been offline. Sometimes life intrudes and I have other priorities and something has to give. So for a while at least it was this. Our next camera is the Sony DSC V3. It was introduced at the end of August in 2004. It has a 7.1 megapixel 1 over 1.8 inch uh, CCD sensor. I hate that old video sensor size. Uh, it's about 7 by 5 millimeters. Shoots JPEG, RAW, and TIFF. And it does VGA video, 640 by 480, at 30 frames per second. It takes either the Memory Stick Pro or a Compact Flash Card Type 1 has a pretty decent lens on here. It's a Zeiss Vario Sonar 34 to 136 millimeter equivalent to a 35 millimeter camera. It's f2.8 uh, when the lens is set to wide angle and f4 when it's zoomed. It only stops down to f8 at either one. Uh, the zoom steps it's not continuous, it has 17 step zoom. Autofocusing, it has a five area multi point autofocus, um, or you can select the center uh, or a selectable point um, out of 13 different positions. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's got kind of this oval with the different positions. Those are uh, autofocus points you can choose. The shutter goes from, a fifth, from 15 seconds to 1 2,000th of a second. That varies with mode. In the modes it has auto, the green camera icon, shutter priority, aperture priority, full manual thankfully, programmed auto exposure, and scene modes. ISO is from 100 to 800. I read somewhere, might have been in the manual, that when this is set to auto, um, the ISO can be boosted all the way up to 2000. Metering, um, it has a 49 segment uh, for when it's doing the multi-point metering. You can set it to center weighted or spot metering. I still use spot metering for most things, but it's nice to switch it around let the camera do the work. It'll do exposure compensation, uh, plus or minus two EV, and third stop steps. That's really nice. Uh, it does auto exposure lock. Normally it'll lock the focus and the exposure you do using a half press of the shutter button, but it does have a separate auto exposure lock for <clears throat> those times when you don't want to lock them both down at the same time, particularly when you have to get up close for something that's backlit. So you want to lock the auto exposure there, but you don't want to, to lock the focus because you're going to back up and reframe your picture. This does have night framing and night shot. Um, the infrared beam is really narrow. It's this little job right here by the lens mount. So you really get a pretty small circle of light when you're using the infrared and darkness. Um, like the other ones that have the night shot, when that mode's selected, it's set to 100 to 130th of a second on the shutter, and the lens is wide open at f2.8. This one's a little trickier. I haven't done any daytime infrared shots. Um, there is a filter ring, but it's in this ring around the zoom lens. And there were uh, tele and wide uh, lens adapters for it and the wide angle even defeated the zoom so I'm going to need something that will fit around it but then be a long enough tube so that when the lens is fully extended it's not going to bump up against it with that I can put on the ND filter and an infrared pass filter and try and get some cool shots that way um, the flash is good for two and a half to three meters. That's a built-in flash. It does have a hot shoe. Uh, it'll take normal uh, 
ISO contacts, and it has some Sony proprietary if you're using one of their flashes. Um, I really like this camera. You know, the layout's simple. The LCD's a little small. It does have an optical viewfinder. It zooms with the lens, but there's really no information in it, so you gotta look at the LCD anyway. But it only has a half a dozen scene modes for creative filters. It has black and white and sepia. So there's not too much junk. Honestly, if this thing had a bigger sensor, I'd love it. Um, it'd definitely be a keeper. It might be a keeper anyway. 7.1 isn't bad. It wasn't that long ago. People were doing magazine spreads and photo, photo journalism with a smaller sensor than this. So I'll keep shooting with it. Maybe post some... I'll keep shooting with it. Um, maybe post some daytime infrared once I get something rigged up. And I'll see you then.